What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It's your boy Juggle972 back here. Sorry it's been so long, but, you know, shit just gets in the way, and in the middle of that break, though, I kind of needed to take some time to get some things, uh, get some things together as well, too. But we are on the final chapter, or technically disc three, and we are at the Northern Crater. So, Sephiroth, here we come. Alrighty. All right, let's go down, shall we? And that little hole right there, that takes us back to the uh, airship. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. All right, here we go. Prepare to jump a lot of steps. Oh, and that save crystal right there. That crystal will uh, create a save point. And I do mean anywhere. So it's best to save it for right now. So, as a matter of fact, let's arrange our key items real quick. So, let's keep going. Okay, sorry about that. Now, every final dungeon has really, really, really expensively taxing monsters, if you will. If you run into the gargoyles, do yourself a favor. Do not be at a level 4. A level divisible by 4, excuse me. Because level 4 death... Well, like I was saying, level 4 death is taxing. Especially on your characters. Not to mention if you don't have a lot of Phoenix Downs. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of random battles here. Not to mention a lot of treasures, too. So, let's try uh, looking for some treasures while we're at it. As you can see, there's some materia up here. Nab this real quick. HP Absorb. This will come in handy because when you put it on your weapons, the first thing it's going to do. Oh, yeah, by the way, hang on. The first thing it's going to do, it's going to absorb HP for every time you attack. So yes, it comes in handy. Let's see. Love this song that plays in the background. It's called Judgment Day. And appropriately titled when you, when you think about it. Okay. Make our way back up here. Let's move over here. Pick up this last treasure chest. Guard source. Alright, here we go. Okay, then there's this little maze. Okay, another treasure chest. So treasures ahoy, that's all I can say. All over the place. Now let's go back up here. It also appears to me that I have forgot to save. If y'all saw the last episode, I defeated the Ultima Weapon. And apparently I did not save. Which is a whole bunch of horse crap. Because I beat him. Y'all saw. Okay, we're back. Hmm. The road splits into two groups. We'll split into two groups. What you gonna choose, Cloud? You know what? I think I'm gonna go left. Alright, then I'll go left. And Tifa will go left, too. Alright, then I'll go right. Yuffie will go right. Gates will go right. And Vincent will go right. Alright, now I'm heading right. Now, don't any of you die on me. We're going... <laughs> gotta get through Sephiroth. I'll destroy that set right before anyone gets to him. The 
It's all over now with this. Materia Hunter Yuffie. Sounds like the last chapter of the Materia Forever. Well, almost. When you think about it. All life on this planet, indeed, the very life on this planet, is in our hands. Ah, oh, don't cry, Kate Seth. Now, the reason why I split everybody up, you want to get all the treasures that you can. Because, if you don't go to the other side, your uh, party members will also get uh, treasures for you, too. So, once you get the treasures, you can always go back and then nab others. So, let's go. Another fork in the road. Wow, which way are you going to choose? We're all going up. Oops, wrong way. Okie dokie. There's a shit ton of treasures you can get here too. And I had no idea that you could run on the water. Let's check over here real quick. There's some very interesting enemies here too. Very, very interesting. Let's take a look at some of them. Ooh, the magic pot. Now, these enemies want you to give them elixirs. Now, if you've got a lot of good materia, the one thing you want to do is one, give them your elixirs. And something good will happen. If you don't give them an elixir, they remain invincible. Now, they don't attack you. These enemies don't attack you. The magic box have exactly what they have. 16,000 XP and a lot of AP. It's a great way to level up your materia. And as you saw, we have... Counterattack leveling up, our long range, and the HP plus leveling up too. So this is good. So anytime you have elixirs, and if you can spare them, give them to the magic pots. Because it's a great way to level up. It's a great way to you know, build your magic too. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you don't give them elixirs, they will steal from you. So yes, it's very important to know that. Okay, where else can we look? Oh, there appears to be materia up here too. What did we get? Okay. Let's see what other spoils we can find. Damn it. Here we go. A hero's drink. Alrighty. Sorry, I gotta speed it up a little bit. Moving forward. Oh. Then there's this. Hang on, let me make my way down there for you. Now, what you see is a bright light. But what you don't see... It's a great counter materia. Yet another one that we have. And we've made it to the center. A luck source. Now, remember the save crystal that we have? We're gonna use it. Because this save crystal will be the final save point of the entire game. 
Now, what are we going to do for right now? We are going to save. And we are going to get prepared to fight Sephiroth. Now, there's plenty to do after this game is over. Or even during the game right now, too. But for this chapter, we're going to focus on defeating Sephiroth and completing this game. Later on, we're going to focus on a few side quests. Now, I've already got this mapped out. And I will say this, though. The only side quests I'm going to be uh, focusing on are the important ones. Mainly, these two. The Emerald Weapon and the Ruby Weapon. So, not only are we going to complete the game, we're also going to complete the Ultimate Challenges. So, I will see you on the next episode. Much love, and it's great to be back.